Good day, everyone. We're pleased to present the results of our research, mining tourism as a guarantee of sustainable development of industrial regions on the example of Kerberi region. Sustainable tourism is fundamentally about preserving and enhancing natural, historical or cultural heritage, as well as promoting activities related to local identity and history. For mining regions, one of the ways to diversify their economies on a sustainable basis is to develop the tourism sector. The development of niche forms of tourism, which are fully focused on the resources of the industrial area, helps to supplement and diversify the tourist offer in these regions, including mining tourism. Our research included three important components. Firstly, identification of the place of mining tourism in the structure of tourism types and its features. Secondly, study of the resource base of Krivery for the development of mining tourism. And finally, analyzing the possibilities and the state of use of mining facilities in Krivery in tourism activities. The interpretation of the concept of mountain tourism in the scientific literature is not unambiguous, as scientists focus on different aspects, as shown on the slide. Having analyzed the existing approaches to the interpretation of the concept of mining tourism, we believe this tourist direction does not belong to the structure of geotourism, since in our understanding geotourism is aimed at studying and visiting mainly natural objects, although indeed quite often geotourism and mining tourism have a common object to visit. At the same time, when the concept of mining or industrial heritage tourism is used, the attention is focused only on heritage objects. A similar situation is with post-mining tourism, where the emphasis makes on visiting transformed objects, so these subspecies absolutely exclude the production component. However, the objects of active industry are working mines, functioning ma mining and beneficiation plants definitely are and can be objects of mining tourism. Therefore, we defend the opinion that mining tourism is an autonomous direction that is a part of the structure of industrial tourism, which combines heritage objects, active industry and regenerated production objects. The key goals for mining tourism are presented on the slide. The Krivery region has the best conditions for the development of mining tourism in Ukraine due to the availability of a wide range of different facilities and landscapes. In 2013, the city adopted the Industrial Tourism Development Program for 2013 to 2015, which was subsequently extended. However, expeditionary research of the city's mining heritage and landscapes began earlier. Back in 2004, local history work on the study of these objects uh, was initiated by the geographer Volodymyr Kazakov, who was joined by his colleagues and students. This made it possible to create a register of mining sites in Krivery and analyze their tourist potential for the purpose of creating excursion routes. Preparing these routes and conducting them for both citizens and guests of the city allowed us to identify the list of the most attractive objects that could become the basis for mining tours in a practical way. The criteria for selecting these sites are presented on the slide. The existing criteria made it possible to determine the key ones for tourists uh, to visit from the entire list of objects. As experience and communication with tourists show, working quarries and mines arouse the greatest interest among visitors. And if the quarries were visitors visited on a permanent basis and the quarry of southern mining and processing plant was generally considered the most iconic industrial monument of the city, which is included in the European route of industrial heritage network. Then uh, the visits to, to the mines took place very fragmentarily. Although the Krivery mines are the deepest mines in Europe and their head frames are figuratively called Krivery Eiffel Towers. In addition to the objects of 
the active mining industry, the top programs in Kriverik include abandoned mining objects that have formed various man-made landscapes, flooded quarries, dumps, failure zones, and other specific objects. These objects are freely accessible for tourists uh, and some of them could be an excellent springboard for the implementation of various revitalization projects. The advantages and disadvantages of each of the working and abandoned mining objects are presented in the tables in the article. All the authors of the study are practicing guides, so the selection of key mining tourism sites and their analysis was based on their own practical experience. Based on this, a map of the city's most attractive sites for mining tourism was created. The development of mining tourism in Kriverich has all the resource possibilities, but the presence of a powerful resource is not a guarantee of effective tourism. Before this resource is consolidated into a quality tourist production, it must be brought to the proper level. For this, we offer the concept of 3R – reclamation, revitalization, rethinking. This concept is b described in more detail in the text of the article. Thank you all for your attention. We hope that you will not only read more about our research, but also visit the impressive mining facilities of our city.